Hello everybody, welcome back to Tennessee Titans franchise. Last week was really good, I must say. Last week was great, but this week's a different week. We're going to negotiate some contracts, and we're going to go ahead and get head into the game knowing we have a chance to win. Because uh, if you guys missed it, I turned all of the game sliders or gameplay sliders down. And, or yeah, back down to 50 or default, whatever you want to say. And uh, this is the last offer we submitted. They said that they rejected it because... He said he needed more time. So I don't know if I could just offer up the same one. I'll add two mil to the... 200,000 to the salary and he's back for two years. I do not want Sean Murphy bunting. If you guys have been watching this series, you know he's ass cheeks. We'll see about some of these older guys, Zaniko Autry and Ryan Tannehill down here. So obviously they don't really take priority right now. Ben Neiman's as good as gone. Aaron Brewer, I might want back as like a lifetime backup, if you will. If he'll take like a, an offer like this, I'd be more than happy to have Aaron Brewer. Real close, just looking for a better salary. We'll see what we can do. I want Christian Fulton back long term. I just don't think right now is the best uh, time to negotiate with him. So we'll wait on Christian Fulton as we have a, like I said, a winnable matchup against the Carolina Panthers today. We'll get to see Bryce Young in action. We'll head into weekly strategy right now. Yep, you guys already know I'm hitting Russian attack with Ty J Spears. And this one for gold, I think. No! <laughs> Alu we got to us try to run outside i mean normally they don't really make that sort of play but <laughs> we miss out on gold Ooh, crucial upgrade we're loading into here is will levis so what is he bad at breaking a sack and his medium accuracy i'd rather have that medium accuracy if i'm being honest uh yeah medium accuracy short accuracy and deep let's go ahead and just upgrade field general that'll give us plus one awareness deep and throw and sh what am i saying short medium and deep throw accuracy jiminy chrysler and today against adam thielen and the panthers <laughs> we'll have to uh do our best to run the ball we'll actually try to run the ball we've been kind of just not doing that all season long so we'll receive and we'll try to focus on running the damn football normally this is where we see will levis's numbers and stuff on the season but not a fan so not doing it also did switch playbooks so now we're on new york jets offensive playbook and that is hopefully for the best this one's going to be intercepted this one was miles behind deandre hopkins in the first place but yeah shit throw uh <laughs> The superstar rookie quarterback Bryce Young comes out onto the field and they'll look to try and run this one as well. And this one is a great run from Miles Sanders out to the left. And we are really uh, on the downtrend already in the start of this one. So not great to start this one out but we've got a whole game to rebound so we'll try that and we'll try to get a luby out to the outside try to make a good tackle in space does that after only a gain of five which is uh, a lot better than what we saw last play from miles you know what we're gonna do we're going to blitz the quarterback why you may ask well it's kind of our duty now so we'll try to get oh uh, a luby look at harold landry getting off his block and making that tackle third and five this one will be a little bit tougher to try and convert on this one comes down and under and is that dj shark with the touchdown mccreary gets there just an inch too late yeah dj shark with the touchdown unfortunate do you know he's been in a blue uniform his whole career actually he started on the jags huh never mind forget that and this play i know we said we got to focus on running the ball but this looked like a good opportunity for um this is an interception yep i didn't see jeremy chin he was hiding behind josh wiley oh it hurts so bad i'm so sorry guys i this is not the gameplay you come to see nothing like letting my viewers down because know how it goes done this before let's see miles sanders look at jeffrey simmons getting back there tfl for him we'll be blitzing the quarterback and trying to get to him is i think that was rashad weaver and now underneath is that kevin byard coming down to make a good play it looks like it so kevin byard and caleb farley to the right side of the field to help minimize that sort of threat and now we'll just pretend to go inside with our linebackers skirt outside try to make uh magic happen here with um Coming back down, trying to blitz, trying to get in. Carolina Panthers, rookie quarterback Bryce Young's face as he throws an incompletion out, out of the field. And once this field goes in, I almost have a feeling they're going to be at full momentum and it's going to be really hard to come back from. How are they not already there? This is the thing I'm talking about. I mean, I guess they are away, so it makes it a little tough, I guess. I don't know. This one is up and full momentum for Carolina Panthers. We got to come out and make a statement. Today, 0-2 for two interceptions. What a stat line for Will Levis. Oh, boy. Um, Yeah, let's see if we can get Derrick Henry going on the ground. We are going to run towards Derrick Brown, Peter Skaronski, and just the left side in general. Derrick Henry goes for one yard. And that's uh, half the reason we have not been running. A lot of inside stuff from our opponents and also just a lot of uh, denial. We have not been able to 
get anywhere as that's a very good broken tackle two broken tackles from Tyje spears moving up the field still gets an additional view after contact there so Tyje, 15 yards on his first carry might be the go-to back in this one we'll have to see two straight run plays we'll go ahead and try a little play action we have lost no confidence in will levis and his ability to throw us he'll drop a dime right in to Traylon burke's hands for 25 yards in his first completion we'll give tajay another run and it doesn't matter Derek brown gets right off of aaron brewer the newly extended aaron brewer this one's off and snapped we'll go kyle phillips underneath and just get the guaranteed yards i'm liking the broken tackles right now let's move the sticks here See if we can get a run with Tajay as he'll have daylight on the left side. And that's going to be good for a good amount of yardage. We'll try to run right up the gut with Derrick Henry. And number 91 misses, gets past. It's going to be a Derrick Henry touchdown. Look at him go. This is the first time we'll see our running backs. And maybe we should have been running the ball more in these past weeks. But we've had breakout challenges. And I've got all the excuses in my duffel bag that I'm almost going to miss this one. It's barely in. It'll be 7-10. to 10. We've really re uh, responded especially will levis i mean didn't do much on the drive but worked out we'll have to watch for the run here that's exactly what happens and aziz al shire and amani hooker gonna come up and try to make a play miles sanders was doing okay uh last week but seems to really have an advantage over our defense this week for whatever reason we'll line up here to try to clog the line i don't know if i'll really play the uh of all blitz here with our linebackers this one's going to be underneath will they get the first they're going to credit hayden hurst i believe with the first uh Monty hooker was up in there to make a play early on that one just couldn't completely keep it under wraps i'm going to use uh, uh alubi over here segun alubi on the left side in case miles tries to switch but he can't another tfl for jeffrey simmons he's doing really good right now second and 11 and they didn't give me caleb farley right there but another good pass out i mean adam thielen seems to be doing good and what's funny is i did put on medium pass so whatever that's about we aren't covering the medium pass all that great i think that's all that bryce young's really completed today he hasn't been especially amazing but making the right reads we'll have a corner blitz on the left side try to get out quick to uh wow this one was supposed to be a screen to the running back but instead uh he has all the time in the world with about five linemen shuffling out left that he still can get that one off that's kind of insane to me actually you lose that much linemen oh because we uh, okay that makes a lot of sense oh so they just do they read it it's initially a pass play this isn't a screen they just read okay sure we'll act like that's somewhat any realistic at all that's kind of ridiculous but cpu will do cpu things we're gonna try to stop the line we'll pinch it up a little bit and try to wreak havoc as sagoon alubi and hayden hurst will have a little uh contact third and three for the carolina panthers we'll see what they do here it's gonna be a read option and no way bryce young pushes forward for that i would almost die the fact that he got that much on that is insane looks like they're gonna go for it as well so we'll try to box it up the best we can and still have some man coverage outside i'll work with adam thielen here uh try to you know help cover adam thielen this one is a hayden hurst drop with rashad weaver in coverage thank god he drops that i don't think weaver makes a play and what we're gonna do right here is a little rpo and this one will run with ty j spears he's gonna fumble for the fourth time this season ty j spears can't hold on to a ball for shit this guy literally sucks i mean that is insane i i can't bear that that's so many fumbles this season and just even in the last like few whatever this one will throw it up this one close to picked off uh we need to get that there early or something i don't know kyle phillips somehow had a step on jc horn and didn't really see it till late so uh it's just a poor offensive drive again but our run game sucks and there's nothing we can really do about it our running backs are very not good right now this one up to cj shark and couldn't quite get it for him christian fulton in coverage man coverage at that as well kept pace with him so good to see but we'll try to tower from over top oh, this one might be a run so we'll have to watch out for that it isn't but this one another deep shot and I'll just use her on Christian Fulton. And this one's going to be a catch in the end zone. Uh, they like that matchup for some reason. I don't like it. I, I, me personally, I am not a fan. And Derrick Henry will have in like some sort of power set here. Power formation and try to get up the field. But the second he gets contact, he goes down. And that's a reason that we are not looking to extend the infamous Derrick Henry. He hasn't been great. And I'm scared to give it to Tajay. I mean, another 
freaking turnover would pretty much ruin us. And I mean, our half's pretty much already ruined, but it is devastating to just turn the ball over time after time after time. We have three turnovers in the first, you know, quarter and a half. So not looking to feed the Panthers any more easy turnovers. We're going to have to just stay solid and work with what we got and what's available to us this one will be thrown out of the way we'll go play action look down the field might not be the best time for it but we're gonna do it anyways and deandre hopkins can't get there it's a misplaced ball by will levis can't find a home for wherever he was throwing that to which is needs to be better uh he sucks pretty much just has it's been repetitive it's been very annoying we might see a blitz is that brian burns in coverage it is on Traylon burks hopefully that's man coverage love to see that as he freeze that like very easily um yeah some rushers just came right up the middle found a play or found a seam in our line uh one of the worst lines in the league if not the worst and we're playing like the worst team in the league like we are we are literally the worst team in the league by far first and 10 for the chargers and they will have another drop from hayden hurst it's kind of rough man hayden hurst you got to be better and this one just to hayden hurst over a luby's head and uh, i was considering to go to get that one but i thought this one was headed towards adam thielen actually in the in the time so i stepped back up and then just couldn't make a play so it is what it is this will go to oh can we get a luby outside well created a little bit of pressure whatever it was uh and this one out in the flat hayden hurst will just head out of bounds and late contact from kevin byard but it don't matter we them dogs out there it'll be a third and four yard margin to gain i don't know i don't like that outside leverage there from was that christian fulton on hayden hurst so we'll try our best to stay manned up on the people that we need to stay manned up on and that's a catch you're joking we literally had that read perfectly with the db on in coverage there is that elijah molden actually stepping in taking some reps don't know how he's getting in but he is so that's the only important thing and okay how is Ziz al Shire not making a play on that roger mccurry has been really good all season long i think that's highly noteworthy i don't know what i said i don't know if what i said is a word even and this one a slip tackle from miles sanders to get past jeffrey simmons who was working on his third tfl there couldn't quite finish the play and we'll see a not a last ditch effort i feel like we've seen a lot of uh third and margins this season that seem doable but they just seem to be so impossible at the same time like this third and seven easily picked up great play call from the cpu and they'll get up the field two minutes remaining here in this first half and we'll have to get up field quick and this one outside to who is is that shy smith making that play my ass that guy no he literally got cut in real life that's how bad he is literally sucks but anyways happens it happens anyways it will always happen i'll use her aziz al shire here try to pop in and maybe make a nice play and run support and where's a luby on that one uh, nowhere to be found hayden hurst touchdown Whoop -de -doo. and we'll have to look towards the passing game here for this one i don't think that we are really in a great spot to start running with only a minute and 53 left in this one we'll go to tajay see what he can do out in space shaq thompson still gets there still a gain of five we get out of bounds that's four seconds. It's not bad. I like those sort of plays right there. Just quick, easy, uh, nice ones. We'll see. So it looks like Brandon Smith is very athletic, by the way, out here on Josh Wiley. So he'll get up the field, get that first and 10. Uh, gets, what, six yards on that one? So these slow little gains, we might make it into a big gain. But right now, it's not looking too promising. Shigakonk won a little, like, shake route on the inside. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, yeah, nothing is open. They've got everything that is available to will levis locked we're not going to chuck it downfield he's going to throw an interception and if we throw it too low it's obviously not going to work out like there is no good like play i guess there's no good you know this one's going to be picked off yep how okay i'm so done man i don't have the energy for this oh i'm pissed that's so stupid is that xavier Rhodes making that play or woods or whatever his fucking face is um yeah, this one wasn't initially going to be a pick, but CPU has its mind made up, obviously. So I throw, what, right here? It seems like enough, and I had a shade to this side, so I had the left stick pointed this way, so it should lead him that way. It did. The ball was released that way. Traylon Burks didn't go that way. He's like, I'm going to stay here. And then this teleportation from the CB or the, uh, the player in coverage is quite uh, amazing, if you will, and catches it has an interception i think that'll be will levis's 20th of the year 20th interception that is of course this one gets up the field from adam thielen after what should have been maybe three tackles maybe you know after a gain of seven or so but gets the additional however many because he has 
little bit more overall than the defenders on the play. So is what it is. And still all day in the pocket for Bryce Young and he'll get it out again. I just got a blitz. That's the only way we'll win any game this year is if we blitz pretty much every play. I don't feel cheesy doing it at all. It seems to work, obviously, but as I say that. Touchdown, Shy Smith. Let's go. Literal stud right now. Shy Smith is looking like um, an elite route runner. Go getter. I don't know. This fucking sucks. This video's trash. Bumble, Reggie Robertson, and this one gets picked up by Westbrook and Keena. I don't. I'll take it, obviously. I don't even know what just happened, but it's a Westbrook Akina return touchdown off of a fumble from Reggie Wa Robertson. Webby Wobble him. It's a touchdown, I'll take it anyways, but oh uh, boy, this is uh, interesting. I think Hunter Henry's on this team. He just had his reception. He got one like up the sideline for like a good 11 yards or something. I don't know. And this one out to another tight end. Keep him in bounds, Fulton. Good job. Keeps him in bounds. I don't want him to have all day, and I don't want like three people rushing i want four so i don't want him having all day to pick up the the yardage that he wants or needs is we'll try to hop under there and keep him in bounds again they're all out of timeouts so um they'll probably still score somehow i'm sure but we'll see how our linebacking core can do this one in the middle of the field Thielen who will be taken out of bounds by the defender and look at little midget man popping up saying you're that man you're the dog and yeah, they'll be in field goal range and they'll make this one 34 to 14 and might as well put us out of our misery. This one will be up from nearly 50 and it looks like it'll be good. Carolina Panthers 34, us 14, head into the halftime report. Not a good idea, but we're going to run it to Tajay Spears who might fumble the football. Luckily, he doesn't, and we'll head to the halftime report. Like I mentioned, I don't even know why I commentated over this, but starting off in Indianapolis, they'll have a tough matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but Gardner Minshew seems to be taking care of business. Oh, my Lord. 8 of 11, 125, and three touchdowns is not something to be messing with, as obviously Gardner Minshew seems to be doing pretty good, and down in Atlanta, New Orleans interdivisional matchup, Desmond Ritter's having one hell of a half, uh, Bijan 10 rushes 47 yards, Drake London having an okay game, uh, Chris Olave seems to be the main weapon for that Saints offense, and in Houston, Jacksonville will go visit, and will have a tough time, as CJ Stroud seeming to pick him apart in the first half of this one, CJ Stroud 101 yards, and Tank Dell Helping out a lot with that. A lot of names and numbers in the box here to stop Miles Sanders on his first run of the half. He'll come out and he'll try to do what he did and replicate what he did in that first half, which was very impressive. Uh, do we not have a Luby on the field? That's fine. I'll use Aziz Alshair, a little change of pace. A lot less speed over here at the position, but is what it is. And this one, is it... Did he go back two yards? I feel like he did. I feel like it was third and six. So, Miles Sanders doing a little no favor for his team. And Bryce Young just tries to find the open guy. But luckily for us, he wasn't too far and out. As we'll try to uh, monitor the middle of the field. Instead, they'll do a little outside shade cover thing. And it'll work. It's going to be a DJ Shark touchdown. And Bayard going to leap. I know Shark's quite fast. So, cool. Fun stuff. Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. This game sucks, man. It's right here. Ball's in the air. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch on here. I turn around at this point. I turned around. I'm turned around, and I'm looking to press the triangle button. What happens? Oh, I'm going to go for a sideline snag. All right? I'm going to show everyone my toe tap and drag. All right? My toe drag swag. And DJ Shark's like, what are you doing? What, are you going to try to trip me? Like, what's going on? Not going to work out for us. As, uh, they'll put this one up and good, I'm sure. Eddie Panera, I believe, so... Yippee ki yay. This one's up and good. 41 to 14. Kill me now. Play action, and we'll try to go over to the side, and Kyle Phillips will continue running out of bounds while this one is picked off for the fourth time today. Oh my fucking god, dude. There's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do. I'm super tired, by the way. I'd be a lot more pissed if I wasn't this tired. So Kyle Phillips works his way open right here. I'm I see this and I throw it about here. He's jumping and passing at the same time with pressure in his face. I believe that's Frankie Louvu. Of course it is. And we'll see Kyle Phillips still butt naked, right? This is this is an island. What does he do? So ball is released here. Oh, I see it. I'm looking at my quarterback. I'm going to continue running. Let's keep running. Oh, hang on. This one's about 10 yards behind me. Let's see. And then this one is thrown straight up to uh, Dante Jackson, who's just going to come up. And uh, he's basically given a prize 
for being shit in coverage. Welcome to Madden, ladies and gentlemen. It is fun. So that's what they want it to be, but this game is shit. Bryce Young today, 26 of 31, 350 plus, and I think five touchdowns. And we'll go ahead and bring the blitz. We'll bring the pressure. We'll bring the house down. We're going to try to get it. And this one outside shade, it's going to be a pick. Christian Fulton gets his revenge interception there. You throw it enough up to Christian Fulton, he'll try to make a play. And he did on that one, so good for us making that uh, come out and, and work, I guess. As we'll try to run right, right here with Derrick Henry. And Brian Burns somehow doesn't get blocked by a single fucking soul. Weird play call. I'm going to run the ball in this spot, though, as we'll... I mean, there's nothing we can do there. DeAndre Hopkins has like a sideways block going while the safety comes down. You got to make the right read immediately. Oh, you have no idea how loud I'd be screaming right now if I wasn't so freaking tired. This is the most aggravating game probably of the series, considering I said we're going to come in with a realistic shot to win. Could you believe that? And Hayden Hurst is going to break free. Uh, he had two people right in fuck in front of him that literally can't reach their arms out. You want to see why? Because they suck. Because they're horrible. Because they're two what? Two safeties? So this is Caleb Farley, 95 speed. This is Kevin Byard, about 90 or 92. Come back and yeah, what an angle, boys. You guys are you guys are working hard. You guys are working hard. You guys are students of the game. You guys are intelligent. You guys know what to do. Not these players are the worst fucking players out there. Like I said, I think these guys are professional toddlers at NFL foot as I say that. And Ah! Hunter Henry out, and we'll try to make that tackle. Luckily, uh, a doobie thoobie boo. Where are you? This one's going to be a run. It's going to be a Luby trying to stop him. And look at a Luby getting around, mounting him. Maybe let out a little pump, and then went. So good for a Luby. You're getting his action. But uh, good job coming around, using his athleticism and speed to beat the defenders in that situation. And. Okay, Miles Sanders just juke Jeffrey Simmons out of the fucking planet Earth. Not even just out of his shoes, just off of planet Earth. Like, insane movement by Miles Sanders. I thought this was next gen. I love this right here. Look at the boundary on the left side. That's Derrick Henry in one-on-one -on -one coverage, so amazing for him. I'm glad that he's getting his reps out at wide receiver. Fuck that, dude. Press coverage. If that's DeAndre Hopkins, I'm throwing that up every day of the week. But unfortunately, it wasn't, so no longer an option. I'm sure we'll see somehow someone make a play here on Traylon Burks. Yeah, they just know what's up. Can we bring Kyle Phillips closer to us? Well, nope, doesn't matter anyways. Uh, Will Levis has literally been the most dog shit quarterback I've used all Madden 24 long. Not been good. Not good reviews for him, that's for sure. And we'll look for the nuke deandre hopkins over the shoulder once again missed will levis can't make a fucking throw and bryce young and oh wow look at jeffrey simmons getting back there getting to work jeffrey simmons nice job and this one might have been a run but it's not instead of it's a, it's a luby trying to get in the backfield instead this one will be thrown away bryce young that interception five touchdowns nearly 400 yards and uh, what not having a hell of a day and this one will be punted away so newsflash will levis has not been good i don't know if you guys have uh, recognized that throughout the series and or game but i'm really considering malik willis for these last few games because will levis can't make a calculated throw at all and i'm sure malik willis is on the same level with arm and whatnot so sure like what are you going to get out of Malik Willis that you're not getting out of whatever? We're going to go for Derrick Henry as we get absolutely blown from the side. Pause, but um, I'm talking to uh, the athletic upside of Malik Willis is just a lot more fun, usable, and enjoyable than the overall essence of Will Levis so far in this series. Can we get any more bunch routes together? Like, please? Jeez. This one's dropped somehow? Kyle Phillips, you're a bum. This is why Nick Westbrook Aquina played over you last week. Didn't like the way Aquina played, so I brought you back in. You are out once again. Fourth and eight, we go three and out, and this one will be punted away. We'll see a little bit of man coverage on this one, and this one underneath as Fulton can't get up. Fulton has been bad. Uh, DJ Chark has been great. That's a bad matchup. This one going to be a draw, and Miles Sanders are going to come up and try to make a good effort at it. Has another eight yards on the end of that one. So, I mean... They're doing what they need to do, but I'm not going to give up. Obviously, still try our best, and I'll do my best with the user as we tried to get there with 
uh, a Luby, but couldn't quite get there. But good thing we have a Jeffrey Simmons on the interior. We're going to blitz pretty hard here. We can only hope for a run. It's not. I'm trying to get there with the Luby because Bayer doesn't know how to play man coverage. Break on your guy, idiot. Work inside. Don't play way over top when it's third and two. Sagoon Olaby has been really good today. And things will continue as Miles Sanders has been held to a minimum today. I know we do that a lot, and we've been really good against the run, but we have been god-awful against every single quarterback we've faced this year. And you can't, like, even deny that. It's that bad. And is that going to go any credit towards freaking uh, Sagoon Olaby? Up and good. It's a Carolina Panthers field goal. Eddie Pinero uh, down on this one. Shoots this one right in. And we'll run it to Ty J Spears, who's going to try to work outside, gets another broken tackle, stumbles forward, gets an additional few. And sure, you're like, well, why haven't you been doing that all day? Well, listen, not everyone, not every run is like that from Ty J. One, he might fumble. Two, he might just straight up go down on the first sign of contact. He might not even make it to contact before going down. He might even trip, okay? We haven't been all strawberries and whatnot today. It's been pretty miserable. We'll try to make a right read. Believe it or not, that one was that was Traylon Burks. That was targeted for Traylon Burks. Little RPO action out here. We'll run it. Let's go Ty J Spears trying to get upfield. Wiggle his way through. That one will work. And crack toss. I'm not going to toss my crack. No way. This one, another RPO, and we'll run the ball and just try to outspeed some of these guys. Tajay Spears to the outside, gets out of bounds, saves the clock. Tajay has been really good today at getting out and uh, loose. He hasn't really been great between the tackles, which is what you need like your, your main running back to do. And that's eventually going to be my hope for him is to become that guy. But unfortunately, hasn't been playing to that caliber where I can really rely and focus on him being that guy. So... Instead, you know, Derrick Henry has not been good at all this season. I mean, in the beginning, he was fine, but kind of lost some steam down the way and hasn't been the same player as he just gets wrapped up way too easily. I thought it'd be a lot more fun with Derrick Henry, but it hasn't been. He hasn't been anything and everything I've hoped for. Been a lot of a lackluster power back. If you even want to label him a power back this year, he's been just straight up delicate. So we'll get it out to him right now. He should have a nice one underneath and goes down Jeremy Chin right there but will levis is happy right now somehow four interceptions on the day 70 plus yards on seven completions should not be happy i'll tell you that we'll have Traylon burks who might be a semi-open guy on this play he isn't of course let's go chigaconquo underneath great play from will levis to get that one uh complete for the first time in a long time hurry up we'll go derrick henry get skaronsky upfield derrick henry looking for his second touchdown on the day can't quite find it but we're seeing a nice uh, running back duo come out right now. We're seeing these guys, um, you know, perform okay. We're just going to throw this one away. Do a draw action right here. So get up, act like we're passing the ball, get it to Ty J, work up the field, and it's going to be a touchdown. Ty J Spears, both are running backs with a touchdown, and Will Levis without one. Dislocated elbow for Andrew Dillard. Cool. Or Andre, not Andrew. This one will be up, and we have wind against us. I don't think it'll matter. Caleb Shudak, I believe. Up and good. 21 to 51. We're only down 30. We have a chance. And Miles Sanders will carry for uh 10 yards on that one it just gets out and loose i guess and another 12 13 yards for miles My sanders the more we commit to the run the less we're gonna do against the run he's been really good today when we're actually focusing on the run and working to stop a run third and three we'll call a timeout with a minute 11 left and we'll see what our team can do i'm gonna go over here with a luby i'm not gonna really worry about pressuring or blitzing the quarterback just making sure there's no underneath option as good coverage there from christian fulton we'll make this one fourth and three i'm sure they'll come out for oh they're actually gonna punt it i was expecting maybe a field goal attempt here but they'll punt it we'll go empty backfield to start this possession uh i don't like the uh the numbers we have let's get it out to the open man deandre hopkins underneath who will only get four on that play hey i'm happy with four okay even though this is nick westbrook akina uh we'll still try it um, I'm sure somehow this one will still get blown up is yep this one will be good for no yardage despite having the correct amount of blockers out there I mean what in the hell was that play action we'll have someone underneath can we get it to Kyle Phillips nope this one was the worst attempt I've ever seen to Kyle Phillips as uh, we had pressure immediately in our face 12 seconds left of this uh, fourth 
beautiful quarter and we'll punt it away i'll hit you guys at the end of the game nothing's gonna happen from here on out and that is a promise player stats bryce young was near perfect this game 30 of 38 that's 78 percent for 412 yards five touchdowns only that one interception and then we'll see will levis's numbers 5.9 qb rating obviously amazing uh the lower the better it's like golf 10 for 27 79 yards and four interceptions no touchdowns 37 percent completion percentage ty j was quite good and henry was fine uh they both were fine they weren't like especially amazing both of them weren't like overwhelmingly great ty j especially the fumble held hold, hold, holds me back with the way i look at him right now we spread the ball around really nicely like obviously and uh no receiver was amazing so, oh man, gotta, gotta cut our losses for sure. Nick Westbrook, Akine has a upgrade. And we want him to be the highest overall. Um, that way we can set him off the right way and he'll get a bigger bag in free agency the more he goes up. And Christian Fulton with that interception this last game, playing down with some morale. Let's see what he is. Let's see what he needs help with. Man coverage is a 78, zone coverage is a 79. What does he exactly need help with? I don't know. He's just playing on the boundary right now anyways. I guess man-to-man. -man, we'll just keep uh, helping him out there. And that is the lower coverage right now anyways. So plus two man coverage will uh, definitely do some damage for him. It's up into the 80s now, but only 77 with morale. Uh, we'll have a tough matchup against the Colts next week. Uh, new injury, I'm guessing it's Andre Dillard with his dislocated elbow. And we get Tier Tart and Monty Rice back. And we also negotiated and made that signing with Tier Tart. Uh, today and he'll be off injury tomorrow we've officially hit double digit loss numbers so that's kind of annoying but playing spoiler we'll have um staff points we can use players ready to negotiate again maybe update you guys on some college players but that'll be for me thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you guys did make sure to leave a like subscribe go watch any of my past videos i'm sure you guys will like it it's an ian guarantee and um yeah see you guys next time i guess deuces